Hey guys! Uh, today's video I'm going to be showing you how I recreate my own Hollywood glam hairstyle, if you would say. More of like a vintage, like you're just curling your hair towards your face, that's really all it is. I love this hairstyle. In the past, I did not like it. I didn't think that it framed my face very well. I feel like I'm like out of breath for some reason. God, it's so hot in here and I'm wearing a damn sweater. I used to not like this look at all uh, on anybody. I thought it was too, dare I say it, old. But I went to my friend's wedding the other night. Well, I guess it wasn't the other night. It was last weekend. And I decided that I wanted to curl my hair inwards because whenever I curl my hair outwards, I don't know what it was. I just wasn't liking how it usually looks or I was just kind of fed up with how I'm always seeing it curled this way. I don't, does anybody care about this? I don't think anybody does. But I'm just... Anyways, besides the point, I wore my hair like a Hollywood, like vintage, like old school style hair. And oh my gosh, if I can like put a picture somewhere, oh my gosh, it turned out so good. And I wanted to show you guys how I did it. It's really freaking easy. And the products and the tool that I used is so cheap. Like you can get it at Target, Walmart. But I got everything from Walmart and it lasted quite a bit. I will have to say the wedding, uh, when it was an outside wedding and um, like the, it, was, it was hot and it was humid and all of these different things, but my hair held up pretty nicely, but I think it would have done even better if I was inside, not dancing, you know, having a good time. So I'm gonna be showing you how I recreate it and let's get into it. There's a spider on my ceiling. <sighs> Gotta watch out for that. Okay, um, before I even jump into this, these are my new favorite earrings. I just put them on like two minutes ago. <laughs> I've never worn them before. And if you guys see any jewelry that I'm ever wearing, it's usually from Shein. And I know that Shein is going through some shit right now, but I'm just letting you know that's where they're from. But like, it just, oh my gosh, it's so pretty and it like glistens and it's so sparkly and it's like it's big but it's not too big it's like a comfortable big you know what I mean okay so I'm gonna start off with taking my hair down I'm pretty sure I have like two hair ties holding this bad boy up I haven't brushed my hair since uh last Saturday and yeah okay we got a scrunchie up in here I did not realize that or unless I forgot I'm pretty sure the last time I did a hair tutorial video, wow, Elvira vibes going on right now, uh, I was wearing this exact same sweater. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, so I took my hair down. I am going to not brush it just yet because for some reason I have been, not for some reason, this is just who I am, I have been extremely lazy. I don't like to brush my hair. I never brush my hair and it's really, really bad because Whenever I don't, my there are extreme knots in the back of my neck. I don't even know if you can see it or not. And it gets so bad to where I just don't even want to mess with it or I just want to chop off my hair. But it takes me so long to grow out my hair. And, oh, is that true? Actually, I'm pretty sure that my hair grows really, really fast. But maybe I'm just uh, not patient, like, at all. Okay, so what I am going to do is just section off my hair. I don't even know how I did it. I'm pretty sure I did it above my ears. And I put it in a ponytail. You guys, I'm like soaked underneath this shirt. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking hot in here. Just gonna work with that. And then I'm gonna take my section down here and pull it to the front. I don't know if you guys can see. My camera is so close up to my face. You know what? Let me try to zoom out. I moved my mirror so you couldn't see my laundry on the floor. <laughs> okay, so I took my two sections and I am going to brush the ends first and then work my way towards the root. So the curling iron I am using is by Conair. You can get this at your local Walmart. Uh, it is 
really freaking good. It gets hot extremely fast, so you have to be careful with it. Uh, the one thing that I do have to say that I do not like about it is that if you are not careful because it is so hot and this clamp right here is so tight that it will leave like crimp marks in your hair. So you're going to have to be really, really careful with it. Or if you would rather just use um, like a curling wand, I usually like using that. But with the style that I'm going with, I'm wanting more of a, not like a tighter curl, but a curl that's a little bit more spirally, like the hair is close together. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Ooh. But that's the reason why I'm using this. And also too, the curl lasts longer because it is staying in that spot and it's being like clamped down. That sounds so bad. But that's the reason why I'm using this and it worked really well and it looked really good. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to show you how I did it, even though you guys probably already know how to do this, but I never see this anymore. Like I don't see anybody curling their hair towards their face. Like that's something revolutionary, but you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, hear that squeak? It's called being frugal. Okay, anyways. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my thumb on the little clamp right here, and I'm going to take my section and bring it straight down. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. My hair's like falling out because I've got like layers and breakage. Anyways, I'm going to bring it straight down, like right here, and then I'm going to start to curl, curl towards my face. And I'm going to hold it for like, five seconds because this is steaming hot and it's hopefully this doesn't leave like a crimp. Oh, oh my God, this is really hot. Okay. And I'm going to bring it straight down. I don't know if you guys, I should have explained that before I did it, but whenever I let out a curl, I always go straight down to where the curl is actually going. I don't uh, bring it straight out because it does straighten out the hair a little bit and you want the curl to last as long as possible, especially with this 100 degree heat that we're going through right now. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. We're going to leave it how it is right now. I know that it looks a little Shirley Temple and we don't like that look, but you never know. We may like it in a month. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that here. I will get back to like these baby pieces towards like the ends uh, and we'll just move on from there and go towards the bigger section. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. My thumb on the clamp, bring it straight down. And you want to make sure it's right at the bottom of the barrel and that way you are going up towards um, the white part. The white part. There for, this is a bigger section so I'm probably going to hold it for like eight seconds. Does anybody else do that? Does anybody else count while they're curling their hair? Or is it just me? Okay, actually that turned out really, oh, that's a good curl. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm only, this is the only piece that you guys are gonna see left because I know it's so redundant and repetitive. So this is the last piece I'm doing. I just wanna make sure that you guys know how I'm doing this because it's so creative. Just curl upwards towards the white piece. This is a bigger section, so I'm going to hold it probably, I don't know, 10 seconds. Go straight down. Okay. Ooh, see, yeah. See that straight part? Mm. It's still pretty hot, so I'm going to come back to it later and recurl the end of it because I don't like this straight piece. I don't know if you guys can see it. Should I do this? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I don't like how it's going straight out. I want it to be completely curled all the way from the top to the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off the rest of the bottom portion, or I guess on this side, and I will be right back. Okay, I have both sides curled, so what I'm gonna do is spray my hair just a little bit, like literally just like, just a tiny bit. This is the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. This is the hairspray I've used since I was in high school. It's, the smell of it reminds me of going to Bell, wait, what is it called? Bell Smith Springs. Oh my gosh. It was, I think I was a sophomore or a junior in high school. I cannot remember. 
but we got out early and a whole bunch of us went to Bell Smith right after class was over and I don't know what it is, but I used this hairspray the very beginning of my sophomore or junior year and now that's all I think about is jumping off the cliff, being reckless. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just obviously take the rest of my hair down and section it off just like I did previously. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this side because you guys saw me do this side. I'm gonna show you how I um, curl it with my opposite hand because it is quite a struggle, but this actually helps. So what I'm gonna do is actually take my finger, or yeah, yeah, my fingers, well, these two fingers, and I'm gonna hold on to it, and that's whenever I'm going to clamp right here. This side is such a bitch, oh my gosh, it never works out. But today I'm actually having a good day. Oh my gosh, actually, wow. I'm telling you, this is a good day. I, I don't know what it is because usually this side is horrific. Okay, this is the last section I'm gonna do so I don't bore you guys with my fingers. Bring it straight down. Right here, I'm gonna curl it like one time and then bring it, use the clamps to get the ends in. Oh, I have a feeling this curl is actually gonna be really good. Ow. Oh shit, I just burned myself. Okay, got a little excited. Okay, I'm gonna finish the other side of my head, and then I'll be right back, just how I was before. If I had no cash to spend If I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be there to hold my hand Lost in my head, pull me back to bed Oh, oh Everything is done. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my hair towards the front, make sure that everything is curled. I mean, everything seems a little bit curled, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take my brush and I am going to completely brush out my hair. This is what's going to give it that like, va va voom, like, oh, I'm from the 1960s. I'm Scarlett O'Hare. How you say it? Scarlet O'Hare? God, that's my favorite movie. Why in the world do I not know her name? <laughs> okay. Oh, and if you have bangs, good luck. I mean, having bangs and doing this hairstyle is an absolute bitch, but I'll fix it later. Okay, so this is what it looks like from top to bottom, and I don't like it. This is not how I do it at all but this is like the starting point, okay? So what I usually do is that I take my bangs and I pull it back to the side just a little bit. And I sp oh my God. And I spray it with some hairspray. I think that's what gives it that like luxurious look. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, let me spray this side just a little bit. Okay, and then I kind of just like tussle it just a a tiny bit because you don't want it to be like too textured or you don't want it to be too like crazy. So I do do it at the root, but I don't do it towards like the end of my hair. I keep having to like sit up a little bit. Um, so that's what I do. I kind of tussle it. And then what made this look so pretty is that whenever you pull it behind your ear, like right where you have um, the less part of your hair. That makes sense. Okay, and then you're gonna spray it with some hairspray like right here, not anywhere else. And then keep kind of sleeking it back. Oh my gosh, I love this look so much. Okay, spray it one more time. Okay, and then the shine spray I'm gonna go in with is the Kenra Platinum Silkening Mist. This stuff is so freaking good, I love it so much. I can't tell you how many 
people come up to me and ask me how I have my hair so shiny whenever it's actually been colored so many times. And it's not my hair, it's, it's this. <laughs> Gotta fake it till you make it. And it smells so good. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. Um, I love this look so freaking much. Oh my gosh. I Let me get on my knees so that way you can see all of it. But do you guys see this? It just looks so like glamorous and put together and you have so much body right here, especially with, if you do have bangs, you, you honestly have like a little bit of a benefit because you do have a little bit more volume towards like the front of your hair because you can swoop your bangs back and it looks a little bit more like, you know what I'm saying, like, ugh. Um, but yeah, this is what I wore to the wedding. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys like it or if you absolutely freaking hate it, that's fine too. I hated it too last year, not even last year, like a couple of months ago, I did not like this look at all, but I just find it so pretty, especially like whenever you pull your hair behind your ear and it like shows your earring and like it's a little bit more, I don't know, like sexual, like just, so yeah, that's the end of the video. If you guys have any other recommendations on what I should do or what I should try out, I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!